All right. Y'all do what you want, but I'm good. Hey friends, welcome back. So today's moving day. We are moving some of our things out of the Imagine into the Transcend. Yeah, so if you guys haven't been following us, Grand Design sent us this prototype to play with for about six months. So we're gonna let you guys know what makes the cut and what doesn't as far as our camping items are concerned. Interesting thing about this is, this is not permanent. So whatever we bring from this to this, we must really, really like. So uh, yeah, stay tuned, we'll let you know. Next time you see us, we'll be in the Transcend showing you where we've put it. show you what made the cut and we transferred from the Imagine to the Transcend. So come on in, I'll show you. Where should we start? The kitchen? Sure. All right. Obviously the trash can made the cut and also our dish strainer. I love this thing. I, I think we've mentioned this in other videos. So that made the cut. And what really was the puzzle was trying to find a new storage spot for everything. So obviously paper towels, meds, seasonings um, and we kind of have a standard medicine bag we take on all of our trips so we just put that in a um, basket and then we decided we're gonna go easy peasy with some disposable um, plates bowls napkins same for silverware um, we're just gonna do disposable silverware obviously we brought some utensils not all of our um, serving utensils so a spatula we really like some tongs Corey loves these scrapers. Is that the right word, scraper? Yeah, All right. close enough. Of course, the wine bottle opener. That may have been one of the first things that I brought over. <laughs> Some koozies. Just a few. So not every koozie we had and not every utensil, like I said. But then we also, we did bring all of our storage bags, um, Ziploc bags. And some serving bigger bowls, just because that's not something you can find that's disposable. A strainer. And tell that this has been down the road already um we didn't bring every cup we picked kind of our favorites some with lids some um <laughs> that we just need every trip and some disposable cups there obviously coffee grinder for our whole beans that we love coffee filters uh and this really handy little measuring cups and um just so we didn't have to bring i think we have a whole slew of that measuring stuff and they uh, imagine but we didn't bring it all and then we still have space if we change our mind and want to bring more all right moving on in the kitchen I will show you uh, this cabinet and this we have a shelf here so in this transcend there's no shelf so we kind of improvised and we're able to store some taller things here like our paper towels I love bringing a lamp on every trip to Lula's food and then some cleaner soap and of course, raid for ants, just in case any of those want to visit at the campsite. Right. I like that that's taller, but I also like our shelf. So I don't know. That's like a yeah. It's okay. like a plus minus. Okay. And then we only brought over to this camper our favorite pot and a smaller pan if we want to scramble now, some eggs. Right? I do have some black uh, the blackstone in the outside storage. We're right. going to go to the outside in just a minute. Obviously, Tallulah's bowl. I think that was probably the first thing we brought was coffee. Coffee maker. Yeah, it was definitely the maker. first thing we brought. I know we've kind of made a little joke in the beginning of the video, but yeah, that's important. <laughs> and then uh, first aid kit, of course, some trash bags. You these are, these are tool kits here. Uh, I don't know if I've gone over these in a video or not. If not, I will. Uh, I'm behind the mic right now, so I may sound a little, a little tinny, but uh, just some basic tools here. And then we've done a video on this. Uh, fuses um the pins zip ties, zip ties all yeah. kinds of stuff there um yeah those are those are important to have i have all of that in a toolbox on the imagine but those are all extras i have and this okay. is all the goodies that come with the actual trailer and then yeah a couple Flash flashlights lights. of course okay so for the kids bunks we decided to take what we consider probably a little easier route so no sheets no comforter we're just doing sleeping bags we bought these when we were tent camping for the kids um they're not too heavy duty but they'll do so Beckett's is up here Townley's is back there we have the couch up right now and let's see our air purifier that's kind of the noise at night so I need a little bit of noise when I sleep so we brought the air purifier um 
There's some of Corey's goodies, of course the hammock. You brought hats to give away. Yeah, we got we bring swag. If you ever meet us on the campsite, more swag. Uh, we've got goodies yep. to give you. So swag. then a really important one in here. here. Oh. This is actually super important, especially this time of year. Uh -huh, uh, yes. Yeah, we got a little space heater. Yep. That is a big deal. If you don't have a space heater in your rig, you definitely need to get one. Um, it'll save you a lot of propane. I think that's about it I right in here, right? Um, you can go to the bedroom? Sure. All right, let's walk you through. We'll walk you through, give you a little... Uh, we've already did a, kind of a tour of this floor plan, but... Yeah, so in the bedroom, I think you and I both just grabbed our charging cables. Of course, the bed linens. Um, I love extra blankets, so I have those. And then a few... I found a little cubby, so I put like some campsite blankets that are nice and cozy uh, just in this cubby. Seemed like a great place for them. And we still have some open shelves. Right. So. I've already packed all my clothes for this weekend. Yeah, so, good. and there's Beckett's shelf down there. Now, thank you, Thomas Payne, for sending us a mattress. Yep. So that was I definitely one of the first things yep. that had to go. No sleeping on the stock mattress. Right. Um, I don't know that, I think I've moved over. I don't even remember what shelf I put it in. Oh, yeah. So, we just keep a pair of um, warm hats, gloves for the kids on the camper. So, we move those over because it will be chilly this weekend. Right. I think the rest is empty. So. Yeah. All right, let's go to the outside. All right, guys, for the outside, uh, these blocks for our jacks, they take up a lot of storage, but I think they're important enough to bring along because it makes a huge difference in how much the trailer moves when you're inside. So I've actually got eight of these. You see there's more back here because it's a little higher. But uh, yeah, you'll see how much storage we have in this trailer. It's a prototype. There's a, tr there's a huge storage compartment in the production model that they don't have on this one. So storage is, outside storage is is very limited. So the fact that I'm bringing this, these is really important. So those are a big deal for me. Um, Anderson levelers, we could have went with the yellow blocks, but I actually transferred these from the Imagine. They're just so much easier than the yellow blocks. There's no guesswork. You know, you just roll back and have somebody tell you when you're level side to side. Super easy there. X chocks, I do think they make a big difference when we're in the rig. So those made the transition. Let's move along. You can see this storage area. Now keep in mind, the storage area in the Imagine, what do you think, Brooke? It's at least yeah, it feels two like it's or three much times as much. So mm -hmm. when we open this up, this is a challenge for us to only have this much storage. And so all of those blocks that I'm showing you that are under the jacks, those are all go right here. I got a couple of extra chocks in case we don't need the Anderson levelers. Uh, as far as chairs are concerned, we're packing the two Kelty couches. And the reason being, one, they're just the most bang for our buck. And two, they fold down smaller than anything else we have. So that's the reason for that. Um, we probably like that Lippert Big Bear. It's a little more comfortable, but it doesn't pack down as small. And so considering we don't have have much storage we went with the kelties this time around we got a broom in there uh, we do have a lippert table i'll show you one of those it rolls up very nicely they just came out with these uh, about a month and a half ago or so and uh, yeah we really like that i've got some extra trash bags for our outside trash which some of that uh, the the outside trash can is actually in the truck let's go around to the other side you can see here i had to get some blocks Obviously, our other blocks are on the Imagine right now, so we've got those yellow blocks for the front jack. I transfer, this is a big deal, I transferred the way safe. We're going to use the way safe hitch for the transcend, all right? Leaving the Pro Pride on the Imagine right now, but I'm very happy with the way safe on the transcend. All right, this side. Packing a zero G hose. I'm not super crazy about these hoses. You guys know that. This is a brand new one. This ought to do us until April, uh, but they just packed down so small, it just, it made the cut, right? This one's for our house. We, we leave that one outside. Again, I'm not big fans of it. It leaks, but for right now, it is what it is. Now, here's my issue. I got to find a way. This is a brand new um, sewer hose. I got to find a way to store this. So I don't want to store this just with everything else, right? Right now it's brand new. I'll probably end up putting this in some type of bag. Um, I'm gonna shop around and see what that is, but I want this separate from everything else for obvious reasons, right? Got a, uh, just a Camco water filter. This is a Taste Pure 
Camco water filter to go with us. Our big filter won't fit in here, so we had to go with that one. And then I've got uh, I've got our surge protector 30 amp. I've got a 30 to 50 or 50 to 30 adapter there. And then I also did, just like on the Imagine, I also did the mod where I'm going to leave this little four foot hose that will come out the bottom here to our uh, pressure regulator right there. So I think that's about it, Brooke. Let's look around. Follow me around back here and make sure. Again, it would be super helpful. The production, the production unit has a huge storage area right here under the bed and the prototype doesn't. So I would really love to have this. So it could put all our camping chairs and everything in there. But hey, can't complain too much. They're letting us play around with this thing for a few months. Yeah, it should be a lot of fun. Okay, friends, there you go. So what are we missing? Now we brought a lot of stuff we don't need. Sure. But it certainly makes RVing a lot easier with some of this stuff. It'll be interesting to see what makes it back into the Imagine. Right. Yeah, I think we'll probably do some purging. And I also hope we have everything we need. I guess we'll find out. I know, right? <laughs> we're going to find out. But let us know in the comment section, what else would you bring if you were transferring trailers just temporarily, six months or so, so nothing permanent? What else would you bring? We'd love to hear from you. Uh, guys, it's been fun. That's it. Thanks. Thanks. Yep, that's it. Consider subscribing, guys. See ya.